Hello and welcome aboard the beautiful Aqua Patio 250WB. This boat was made for cruising and entertaining. Let's take a look. We're up in the bow of the 250 wet bar and before we get to that uh, great aft deck entertaining package, let's take a look at some of the uh, beautiful features we've got up here. Of course that nice wide 8 foot 6 inch beam as you can see, uh, expansive, very easy to move around on this pontoon. Uh, we've got a uh, oversized forward boarding gate but I wanted to show you the uh, a beautiful new navy uh, rail skin, this metallic flake in there, a really subtle design but as you can see out in the uh, bright sunlight it really adds a nice depth and uh, beauty to the uh, to the rail skin look to the entire boat really. Opening that uh, wide forward gate, you can see we've got uh, plenty of uh, plenty of access to this forward deck. Uh, we've got this mica mist carpet that runs all the way uh, forward here. Uh, in the entertainment area in the back, you'll see we transition to a beautiful teak product. Uh, but up here, we've got carpeting all the way through. Very easy on your feet. Uh, very easy to keep clean. Uh, lots of room to move around up here if you're going to board uh, from the dock. Um, also, uh, some nice detail touches that you're always going to find on Aqua Patio. Those uh, nice stainless corner castings with the Aqua Patio logo. Also, pull-up cleats. So handy. Uh, tie the boat off and when you're done, just step on it and it folds right back into the uh, deck so no one's going to trip over the uh, cleats up here. As well as we've got a uh, insert uh, rail uh, docking lights. Uh, that's really convenient. Of course, that's uh, nicely tucked away inside this uh, uh, rail along the side. Uh, but those uh, docking lights are LED. They're going to be a little brighter and last a little bit longer than the uh, traditional halogen model. So uh, uh, really great after you've been on the uh, water all day, help you get back to that uh, marina or the, your trailer a little bit easier. This uh, gate that we just saw has an extremely easy lift and drop system. You can see there's no uh, latches to mess with or for kids to come along and, uh, and undo. Uh, simply lift and drop and you know it's going to be secure. Really great, especially if you're going to be uh, uh, having kids or bored or folks who don't uh, get out in the water very much. It's that nice peace of mind there. We've got two uh, forward lounges here. Uh, the starboard side, as you can see, is a, a nice expansive lounge. Uh, beautiful upholstery, bringing that uh, navy color into the uh, upholstery there. Uh, French vanilla base color. You can see the, uh, the really the most comfortable seats on this entire boat are the uh, corners. Uh, very, very nice and wide, overstuffed, that multi-density foam. Uh, it's going to have a little bit of give to it as soon as you sit down, uh, make it very comfortable. But as you settle into the seat, it's going to be very, very nice. This boat's rated up to 300 horsepower, uh, so you're really going to want to have that nice, secure seating. Uh, new for this year, we've got this uh, a really neat movable uh, cup holder armrest. And you can see that when you put your arm on this rest, it's going to have nice access to your uh, to your cup here. Uh, really nice feature. Here's a, a beautiful matte finished uh, wood trim also. Uh, one of those uh, touches of class that you're always going to find on uh, Aqua Patio. Uh, we'll see a little bit more of that as we uh, move around to the uh, helm as well. Also on this boat, of course that's movable, we'll set it where you want. Uh, Aqua Patio is designed with so much uh, storage in mind. You're gonna, this boat's rated for up to 17 passengers, so all the gear that you're going to need for a full day on the water, uh, every single uh, lounge that we're going to show you here coming up soon, uh, is going to be that nicely finished tub there, very easy to take care of, low maintenance. And also, as we get to this uh, forward-facing headrest, you can see uh, that beautiful design, nice Aqua Patio logo, but overstuffed headrest with that nice angle. Uh, but uh, we talked about this boat uh, really being made for entertaining. Uh, down in here we've got uh, room for a, a wine cooler. A bottle of wine will sit right down in there, pack it full of ice. Uh, nice easy access. You can put some other beverages up too so everybody in the uh, forward uh, lounge area can really have a, uh, a great spot for a cold drink. Taking a look at the uh, port side lounge, uh, I just wanted to show you. Here's another one of those uh, really handy uh, armrest cup holders. But just take a look uh, when you're sitting back in the uh, in the bow seating in this uh, very comfortable uh, uh, forward lounge. You can really scoot all the way back. Now I'm 6'3 and don't fit in many things very easily, but uh, uh, this is one of the uh, really great seats uh, on board. Um, what Aqua Patio does is they make the, uh, the, the pads a little bit longer in the back, so a little bit wider. 
uh, just makes you be able to uh, move around, you're not so confined, uh, particularly if you've got lots of folks sitting in all different areas of this boat, uh, really makes it uh, easy to get comfortable up here. One of the great things you'll find on an aqua patio, of course, uh, taking advantage of uh, every square inch to uh, maximize uh, storage and the ability to uh, take along everything you need. Uh, you can also take along everything that you don't need. This is a uh, concealed trash receptacle, so uh, all those uh, empty cans, napkins, wrappers, and that sort of thing, particularly if you've got kids on board, maybe juice boxes. Uh, put everything in here, it nests neatly uh, behind this uh, port side headrest. And you can see that we just close that right up. When you get back to the dock, simply dump it, put it back in, you're ready to go the next time. Moving over to the uh, side entry gate, again, that very easy lift and drop system. And you can see we're gonna come right up to a, uh, to a dock, we're out on the lake now, but if you came right up to a uh, dock, it's gonna be a really nice on and off access point. Um, maybe the folks who uh, don't get out in the water very much or kids wouldn't, wouldn't really feel that comfortable entering from the uh, forward or aft gates. So this side gate's very comfortable. They got uh, these cushions to, uh, to grab, uh, grab hold of as they climb on board. But it's going to give that very nice even entry point. Um, also, uh, if you've got uh, gear you need to get on and off of the boat, uh, this is probably the place you're going to do it. It has the most access, plus it's convenient to all that extra storage we saw up in the bow. Speaking of the uh, bow, this boat is uh, configured with a, an incredible triple tube system. Uh, like I said, this is rated for up to 300 horsepower, uh, but it's got that full belly skin, those oversized uh, pontoons, uh, an all new motor well that we're going to see in a minute, really helps this boat get on plane, handles like a dream. But one of the advantages of a triple tube system is that you actually get an in-floor locker. Uh, you see this a lot on fiberglass boats, but uh, unless you've got a triple tube, uh, there's not much point in putting a locker right in the middle because you would just see the lake. You can see that we can pull this up. It's got that self-sealing lid, and this um, goes down about, I want to call it uh, two and a half feet, probably 80 inches either direction. We've got that uh, nice uh, mat down there to protect all your water sports gear. But you can see um, even partially inflated tubes uh, adult water skis, wakeboards, bindings, everything you're going to need, they can just tuck away right here. What a great, not only do you get that incredible performance from the uh, triple tube system, uh, it's going to handle and really feel stable out on the water, um, but you can also get uh, more horsepower and tons more storage as an extra added bonus. Of course, uh, after you get everything in there, simply close that lid. It shuts tightly, very uh, easy to walk around up here. Don't ever have to worry about it. Everything's nice and flat. Also, let's take a look now at the uh, incredible uh, sound system we've got here uh, on the uh, 250. Um, we've got uh, incredible uh, Polk audio speakers, subwoofer speaker setups all around the boat. Uh, again, this boat's designed for entertaining. Of course, part of that's going to be the uh, music that you bring along all day. Uh, so uh, really dial in the sound exactly what you want. Um, uh, really a great sound system. We're going to look at an all-new uh, Sony stereo. Uh, that's, a, that's a great feature on this uh, boat as well. Take a look at the uh, cockpit now, the uh, 250WB. Uh, again, carrying that beautiful French vanilla uh, upholstery back here with those uh, uh, really sharp navy uh, accents. Tons more storage under all these seat cushions back here. Like we said, we've got another one of those uh, armrest cup holders. Uh, but really, really nice. You can see that everybody's got a great spot uh, to really get comfortable and enjoy the cruise. Um, one of those uh, great features that, uh, that uh, Aquapatio has come up with is this uh, double pedestal table. Um, the two pedestal system is just going to make it that much more stable. Uh, again, uh, uh, triple tube, stable ride, um, double uh, pedestal table, uh, very stable as you're, as you're moving uh, fore and aft on this boat. We've got cup holders, of course, recessed right in. This beautiful matte wood grain finish we saw uh, up on the uh, uh, cup holder earlier, but you can see uh, that really, really provides that really nice touch of class uh, with that matte finish. We've also got this uh, uh, raised ridge around here that's moldered right in, so your plates or your sunglasses, whatever you've got up here uh, sitting on the table is not going to want to slide off uh, uh, while you're underway. Also take a look at this, uh, the shape of this. You can see how that's really designed to uh, 
help the uh, traffic flow if you're moving from the forward back to the back part of the boat. Uh, forward, of course, is uh, just that uh, cruising area. And in the uh, aft area, we've got that incredible wet bar, double wet bar setup and entertainment area we'll look at in a second. A uh, really, really neat uh, design here. Also want to show you the uh, captain's chair. Uh, of course, the, uh, uh, the captain is not going to be left out on an aqua patio, and uh, you can see that this is uh, really a beautiful uh, setup for him. Uh, we've got a, a nice uh, lumbar support, uh, side bolsters, thigh bolsters, everything's going to really give you that hug, hugged into the seat feeling. Um, adjustable armrests on either side. It is a reclining model, so you can uh, uh, kick back or get a little more forward as needed. It also rotates so you can have a conversation with all your guests uh, down here in the uh, cockpit lounge. And it moves uh, forward and back so uh, no matter what your height you can really uh, have a, a nice comfortable place to, uh, to drive this boat. While we're looking here I also wanted to show you uh, this boat has a uh, raised helm. You can see that comes a few inches off the deck. Uh, nice non-skid surface on there. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow the driver uh, a little bit higher sight line. Um, raised up a little bit. If you've got folks sitting in that uh, forward lounge, uh, standing up, moving around, um, always want to be able to make sure that you've got a, a good eye line. You can see other boats. Uh, and if you're bringing the boat in to uh, have lunch at a marina or bringing it uh, home to the uh, marina at night, uh, really, really nice feature to uh, get you up and over uh, everybody else, give you a nice sight line out on the water. Well, not only uh, uh, does Aqua Patio put a lot of thought into uh, keeping your guests comfortable while uh, seating and on the furniture and that sort of thing, uh, there are two other key areas that uh, they really put a lot of time and uh, thought into. Uh, the first is this uh, oversized uh, bimini. Uh, when that's deployed, it covers almost half of this boat. A uh, really expansive, huge piece of canvas. Uh, again, that navy color coordination through. We have it on the rail skins and the upholstery touches. Uh, solid square aluminum uh, uh, bimini structure. Uh, when it's deployed, very strong. Uh, even if you're uh, underway running the boat, uh, very, very easy uh, to uh, put up and take down. Uh, but that's, that solid frame is really going to give you that feeling that everything's really held into place. Um, this year, the uh, protective boot for the uh, Bimini for 2014 is also going to be made out of the exact same uh, fabric as the Bimini top itself. Uh, that's going to mean they're going to wear the same. Uh, it's, of course, be very easy to clean. Beautiful Aqua Patio logo up there, too. Uh, the other comfort feature uh, that's really important, uh, particularly if you're going to have kids out swimming all day, uh, out in the water, in and out of the boat, um, you want them to uh, be comfortable all day on the water. So one of the things we can do here is show you this changing room folds into that uh, cockpit lounge headrest. You can see how tall that is. Um, that's probably uh, uh, probably well over six feet there. Um, but you can uh, help them get out of their uh, wet clothes, uh, give them a little privacy here, get out of those wet clothes. You can also add a porta potty here, and that's a very popular uh, option as well. Uh, for those kids just to be comfortable out on the water, stay out with you all day. Let's take a look at the, uh, the helm on the uh, 240 here. You can see that the base of the helm is made out of solid fiberglass. Uh, that's going to help it really uh, keep its structure, be very easy to maintain, very easy to clean, and of course it's not going to fade or anything on you either. Uh, really, really nice. Just take care of it just like you would any other uh, aluminum surface or uh, any other uh, fiberglass surface. Uh, we've got a couple of nice cup holders up here. Uh, plenty of storage, again, in keeping with the aqua patio philosophy of uh, maximizing all the areas. This is a great spot for a dedicated cooler storage. You're always going to need to uh, get to it, so it's uh, very accessible here uh, from the uh, cockpit lounge and the uh, forward lounges. Uh, so really nice way to uh, tuck that out of the way, keep it out from uh, under your feet all day. You can see we've got a uh, tinted windscreen here. Um, that tint is going to help keep that sun from really blasting right down on your uh, uh, instrument cluster. Uh, these cowlings also uh, uh, help you do that, help you be able to read these uh, when you're underway. Uh, but we've also got the, the high contrast uh, Faria gauges also. Nice Ritchie compass here uh, that's uh, come standard. We've got all your switches, of course, right at your fingertips and this nice matte wood grain we saw before. Uh, really nice touch of class there. 
I want to show you, this is a, uh, a new uh, Sony stereo that Aquapatio is offering for, uh, for 2014. What that is is a uh, Bluetooth uh, setup. So any uh, uh, Bluetooth enabled device, uh, you can uh, link, uh, you can pair it up uh, directly with the uh, stereo here and play your own music all day uh, without any wires. Of course, that's going to also allow everybody on board to uh, have the chance to play their own music. So you're, you're out here cruising, entertaining, sharing music. Uh, it's a really, really neat feature this year. Take a look at the uh, adjustable steering wheel here. This is going to help the uh, captain really get comfortable in any position. Uh, bringing in that uh, beautiful uh, matte finish wood trim on there. Of course, that uh, leather wrap, uh, easy grip. It's just a beautiful design. Uh, this boat with the uh, triple tube uh, uh, package is going to come with the Sea Star hydraulic assist steering. Uh, cup holder, of course, for the captain to leave him out. As well as a, uh, uh, a Lowrance Elite 4. Uh, depth finder, fish finder. Uh, that's really a neat feature. Uh, even though this boat's designed for entertaining, uh, it really sh shows your, uh, 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 your depth uh, as you're cruising around. It's going to be very nice. And if you ever wanted to wet a line, of course, nobody says you can't do it on this boat. Uh, convenient throttle position with that Yamaha throttle there. And the, uh, a really neat feature as well as the 12-volt uh, uh, outlet. Let's not forget that. So if you got your uh, uh, your car charger, you can just bring it right on here and charge your uh, smartphones all day long. Again, we're going to be playing music. We're going to keep that phone charged. Also, down here we've got a uh, switch that a lot of people uh, may not know about, uh, but it's one of those things that can really save you. It's a, uh, a master power switch um, that's going to be standard on this boat. So the last thing that you do, flip that master power switch and you're not going to come back to a, a dead ba battery because somebody left the radio on, radio on really low and you just didn't hear it. Well, we're back in the uh, wet bar area on the uh, 240. It's a WB designation, but there are also some great other uh, amenities back here we'll take a look at first. Um, on the uh, starboard side, you can see we've got this uh, beautiful uh, entertainment system. We've got uh, uh, hard top countertops, so we've got recessed cup holders there. Um, as you can see, a, uh, this beautiful uh, magma grill is, uh, is an option on this boat as well. Uh, stainless steel, very easy to operate. Now it actually runs off a, uh, a regular camping style uh, propane tank, so you don't have to worry about uh, the tank uh, always being full or any of that kind of stuff. You've got a really, really nice convenient, and those are easy to, to find everywhere. Uh, while you're cooking here, you can uh, be uh, prepping uh, some food here, have the kids uh, wash their hands over here on this uh, uh, nicely concealed sink. Uh, that's going to carry some fresh water, and that's a pump style uh, faucet put this down you can see we've got a lot of food prep area back here tons of storage with these sliding doors uh, we've got a, a very convenient stainless drawer here and uh, hatch down in here as well another thing about this grill is um, it's actually removable you can see that the uh, countertop uh, here will fold right down into position if you take the grill out now why is that important uh, for one thing it's uh, easier to clean you can take it off the uh, boat clean the whole thing out uh, it's not exposed to the elements. It's also uh, uh, going to need to uh, be removed before you uh, put the cover on this boat. Um, that's one of those things that uh, you know uh, is just a very, very neat feature. Uh, makes it constantly adaptable as well. Uh, moving over to the uh, the first bar, we've got a forward-facing bar here. Uh, Foot rest. We've got these beautiful uh, bar stools uh, redesigned for this year. They move uh, front and back. They turn completely around. Uh, we've got these convenient drink holders, uh, this hard top uh, surface again. Uh, you can see also on the, uh, on the port side there another expansive area, tons more storage under each one of these uh, areas as well. Uh, let me show you this. This is a really neat uh, thing that was developed uh, for uh, uh, Aqua Patio exclusively. Of course you can put a, a, a regular glass or a can or something in here. Um, but what do you do with the, uh, with the uh, wine glasses? You know, they're always going to fall over as soon as you uh, get underway. What our engineers came up with was uh, a very neat feature that slides right in there. That's not going anywhere. Uh, also, these, uh, at night, these are also illuminated. Really, really a nice touch uh, when you're back here entertaining. Uh, but uh, you can also fold these seats down. Uh, that's going to keep the uh, dew off them if you have the uh, boat out overnight. Uh, but very comfortable design, as you can see, easy to uh, kick back here, have a great time. Um, and moving around here, 
I don't want to be right in the uh, way here, but uh, we've got a really beautiful uh, rear countertop here. Let me just move over here. This will be easier. Uh, move over here. We've got uh, the rear countertop. Again, those uh, really convenient uh, cup holders and wine holders. Uh, we've got a nice little rail here, a stainless rail. It's going to keep uh, your items from wanting to fall off here. It's elevated, so it's a nice height. You can almost see say that this is like a, a standing bar, that sort of thing, of course, uh, uh, while you're at anchor um, or at the uh, marina. Uh, convenient access to the uh, dual battery system down here and the battery switch. A um, couple more of those uh, great Polk audio speakers. Uh, and back here in the corner, let me put these down for a sec. And uh, move back over here to the corner. Look at every single uh, inch of this boat, as we said, is really maximized to get the most use out of it. Uh, we've got another matching uh, station here with the uh, uh, stainless hatch and, uh, and drawer. Uh, we've also got a convenient 12 volt receptacle here, so any uh, marine appliances you might want to uh, want to plug in there. But we've got spot here for a uh, for an extra grill. Uh, we saw that removable grill over here. This is what it looks like when it's taken out. Um, but you could add two grills. I mean, this boat is rated to uh, carry up to 17 passengers. Uh, so you're, you may just want to, uh, to double your grill space there. A really, really handy option. You can see that we've transitioned from that beautiful mica carpet uh, directly to this uh, uh, simulated teak uh, decking here. Uh, it really is beautiful, really gives you that, uh, that sense of uh, kind of old school boating. Uh, really, really nice. This is a very easy, uh, low maintenance uh, uh, mater decking material. Uh, it's not like the old teak that you really had to work on all the time. It's really beautiful, this synthetic stuff. The uh, rear gate, of course, is that uh, easy lift and drop mechanism. Uh, moving us back to the, uh, to the rear swim platform here, uh, you can see that we've got a, uh, another one of those uh, aqua patio corner castings with that pull-up cleat. We've also got the uh, easy uh, climb ladder here, this easy board ladder. Uh, you simply lower it down into the water and you can see it's got a curved angle on it. Uh, it's kind of a, uh, an S-curve in a way. Uh, nice uh, oversized uh, uh, aluminum grab handles and very wide treads and that's really easy to pull yourself back up into the water after you've been swimming. This boat is rigged with a 150 horsepower Yamaha outboard uh, but with the uh, triple tube system uh, it's actually rated up to 300 horsepower. Well I really hope you enjoyed this look at the incredible Aqua Patio 250 WB that beautiful wet bar entertainment system and all the amenities you want for a great cruise on the water. Till next time, this is Captain Steve.